I've been obsessed with personal finance for years now, and I've spent hours and hours learning and applying several different personal finance strategies, and absolutely none of it applies to this video. Because the most valuable advice that I can possibly give you has nothing to do with what you do with your money, but it has everything to do with how you think about your money. I've made tons of videos about how to save money, how to budget, and how to live a frugal lifestyle. But guess what, bro? None of that matters if you don't make money. And what I'm about to share with you is the one thing that'll guarantee your financial success in life no matter what. So listen up, bro, because this is about to be the coldest financial advice you ever hear. What's up, man? My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can better yourself every single day and live life on your own terms. On this channel, I talk about saving money, getting out of debt, increasing your income, and several personal growth topics. And I bring this back all the way to my own life experiences and examples to serve as a motivation to you. Let's get into the video. If I could go back in time and give my 18-year-old self financial advice, this is exactly what I'd tell myself. You have to grind. You have to to put in the work. And I'm not talking about at school or at work or trying to get a promotion. The one thing you have to do is something that no one will ever really tell you to do. It's not even something that most guys ever do at all in their entire lifetime. You have to develop a work habit outside of just your job. Like I said, this is not for everybody and this is not easy by any means. But if you do this, if you develop a work habit that adds value to others, you will attract financial success into your life. Why? Because it increases your income. Why is that important? Because it forces you to change the way you think. You change the way you think, you change the way you act. You change the way you act, the results in your life change. Most guys live paycheck to paycheck, which pretty much means they're one missed paycheck away from being broke, from being foreclosed from having the lights shut off, from having no water. If only they had another stream of income, they wouldn't have to worry so much and put in stupid hours at their job, hours of their lives that they will never get back in attempt to get a promotion that they don't even get because they get passed up by somebody who they know for a fact doesn't even come close to their skill level. Let me tell you a quick story, bro. When I got my first job, I was making $65,000 a year at 21 years old, which means I was living a very comfortable lifestyle. Well, for a very short, a very short amount of time, I had a regular schedule, which allowed me to have two to three days off per week. Initially, I didn't spend that time doing anything productive. I watched Netflix, played the game, ate, and slept. That's pretty much it. That gets boring after about a week, at least for me. Why do you think that's how I spent my time off? Because that's what I grew up seeing. Work hard during the week, take it easy on the weekends. I just had a hard 40 hour work week and now it's my time to relax, decompress and watch the game. Or you might go out for drinks, you might go out to the movies, you might even go out on a few dates on your weekend. Same concept, congratulations, you've been conditioned. It's okay though, because I was conditioned too. And the reason I'm telling you this is because you probably never realized it until I pointed it out just now. So I had two problems. I was bored out of my mind and I wanted to figure out how to make more money. So I just started looking for answers. How to budget your money, how to save more money, how to increase your income, how to get out of debt fast. I pretty much lived on YouTube and Google. And I came across several YouTubers who figured out a way to make multiple streams of income and didn't have to rely on just one stream of income. And these people were right at my age or just slightly older. And that inspired me to start putting in the work and making things happen. And I'm going to give you a harsh truth right here, right now. 40 hours a week is nothing, bro. At this time, right now, you are the youngest you will ever be for the rest of your life. Right now, you have the strength, the energy, the resources, and the time that you're not even using to create value. I may have been conditioned by what I grew up seeing. And you know what? It's actually okay to live like that. Seriously, it's 100% fine to work hard during the week and take it easy during the weekends. But I don't know, man. It's like there's something within me that will not allow that to happen. There's like this everlasting impulse I have to just do more, to want more for myself and my family. You know what I mean? It's like there's something inside me that won't allow me to be average or normal. And because of that, I'm always into something. So I started a very small side business, which involved one of my many passions in life, 
drumming. I drummed all the way through college and what I did was I helped young aspiring drummers with their technique and how to read music. The simplest business model ever, which I started on Craigslist of all places, but I'm gonna tell you something though. I had customers and business was booming. I was bringing in hundreds of dollars extra per month with that side hustle. Then you know what happened? My job started requiring me to work 60 plus hours a week. And most of the time, that 60 plus hours a week ended up being 80 hours a week. And that's why I'm confident when I say that 40 hours a week is nothing because I've been on both ends, you know what I'm saying? So within a week, you have a total of 168 hours. So imagine working 80 hours within a week. That's already almost half of the available time you have during the week that you're spending at work. Okay, so now imagine getting an average of five hours of sleep per night. So that's another 35 hours gone. So now you have a total of 53 hours left. And that doesn't include driving to and from work, eating, getting dressed, showering, going grocery shopping, or anything. 53 hours, just a bit over two days worth of free time for you to work on your passion and do something value added per week. So let me ask you this. If most people don't feel like developing a work habit outside of their jobs when they have a 40 hour work week, do you think they're going to want to when they have 80 hours a week that they're working? Do you think that I wanted to do anything after working a long, stressful 80 hour work week? No. But here's the thing, though. I did. I actually did. Despite the fact that I had to work 80 hours a week, I still put in work outside of work on my passions. I spent the few hours that I did have doing that. I did it anyways. And that's what I mean, bro. That's exactly what I mean when I say there's got to be something in you that pushes you to do more, to want more. This isn't something that's in your genetics. It's not something that runs in your blood. There has to be something within your spirit, within your soul that makes you want to do more. You don't have to start a business. You don't have to work two jobs. It's more about finding something that you enjoy doing and turning that into a stream of income because when you do that, it no longer feels like work and it's more like a creative outlet for you. But there's other areas of your life that need to be in order first. And I know this doesn't sound like financial advice that you're probably expecting to hear, but that's the whole point, bro. This isn't common financial advice that you just hear anywhere. This is advice that will take you so much further than just saving money. And right now, I'm going to just take a quick step away from talking about what it means to increase your income and why that's so important. And we're going to talk about something very real and deep that most men struggle with. Discipline. We can't just talk about money and increasing your income if you don't have discipline. A man who isn't disciplined within himself will burn through every single dollar he makes. And here's the correlation, bro. If you lack the discipline to stay focused, to do what you need to do at work, if you lack the discipline to show up to work or show up to work on time, and if you lack the discipline to remain cordial and professional at all times in your workplace, Guess what? You will be disciplined by someone else and there will be consequences. And usually the ultimate consequence is getting fired because no grown person, man or woman, has the time to tolerate your lack of discipline. I know I don't. That obviously limits or even destroys your ability to make any kind of income. And the big thing here is if you don't have the discipline to operate correctly in work where there's actually rules and regulations, how do you expect to do it outside of work and have your own side hustle where you're making side income? How? Same thing with school. Are you in college, bro? Skip class if you want to. You already know your grades are done for if you get into the habit of not going to class. And again, if you're not disciplined enough to go to class, how in the world do you think you're going to be disciplined enough to create another stream of income outside of your main hustle? But I guarantee if a girl hits you up wanting to hang out, you'll be over there faithfully, quick as a flash, ready to teleport over there though, right? Right. Well, let me tell you something, bro. If that sounds like you, your priorities are all the way messed up. Man, you know I know about this, bro. I done been around the block a few times. I, I know what it's like. I've been on the job. I've been in the classroom. I know what's up. Look, anytime you put instant gratification of any kind, whether it's a woman, food, alcohol, parties, or even extra hours of sleep over your goals, over your purpose, you lose. 
my mindset was always, I'm not missing class for anybody. I'm not calling off the work just because my girlfriend's coming over or because my favorite show just had a new season come out or because I didn't get enough sleep. Bro, that's my fault. You got to be disciplined enough to say the TV will be there when I get back. The girl will be there when I get back. I will be able to sleep when I get back. If you can't do that, then your earning power is done for. Just imagine working on your purpose and doing something value added. Then a girl hits you up wanting to hang out while you are busy doing your thing, literally handling business. And you decide to stop everything you're doing just to go hang out with her. So now you're putting your goals, your money, your dreams, your purpose on hold for a girl. Man, this, this isn't even a dating advice channel or anything like that. But you know what, though? I don't care how unpopular this opinion is because I'm going to give it to you. Anytime you put dating over your goals and over your purpose in life, you have a big problem. And ladies watching this video right now, the same exact thing applies to you. And don't worry. I got examples. I have real life examples of this. So I'm, I'm check this out. My first year of college, my GPA dropped from a 3.6 to a 2.7 in one semester. All because, what did I do? I put hanging out with my friends and hanging out with girls over the whole purpose of going to college. And that was to study and to better myself. I neglected doing those things to hang out with those people. And guess what? I had to work nonstop, literally nonstop, so I could get my GPA all the way back up to a 3.6 by the time I graduated. Man, look, that was honestly all I needed to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Like, one smack to the face, I, I'm good. Hey, I learned my lesson. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Because you know what? That's what happened. The situation slapped me in the face. It woke me up. If I would have continued down that path, I would have graduated with a very low GPA. And as a result, I wouldn't have had the same internship opportunities, which means I would have missed out on a lot of very valuable, high paying job opportunities outside of college. Another example, friends of mine were calling off of work just to be with their significant other. Bro, there's nothing cold about that. That's about as weak as it gets. There's no sense in it because now both of y'all caught off of work. So neither one of you are getting money. Then a month later, y'all break up. Now y'all both looking sick, sad, depressed, and broke. Then I had this really close friend. He really dropped everything for this one girl. I mean, bro was missing practice, class, and work just to hang out with this girl. And then one day they were supposed to meet up for some food. And she straight up did a no call, no show on the boy. Then he came up to me talking about some. Bro, bro, teary-eyed and everything. I ain't lying to you. What's wrong with you? Man, she flaked on me, man. Good. Get back to work, young man. Get back to work, sir. Go. You've got to secure the bag. Why are you concerned about being with the girl? Why are you worried about hanging out, going out and having fun with your friends if you're not where you want to be in life? Hey, Reggie, the, the crew is going out tonight. You trying to come with us, man? Nope. I got a ton of work I got to do, bro. But next time, let me know ahead of time so I can plan for it. Man, come on. You lame, bro. Yep, that's right. And don't you forget it. Y'all have fun now. But Reg... Hello? Hey, there's this really nice restaurant that just opened up down the street and I was really hoping we could go tonight. I can't tonight, I gotta edit these videos, but I tell you what, we can do something tomorrow. That, that works for you? All right, cool. All right, talk to you later then. That's how you gotta be, bro. And this might seem extreme to you, but you know what? You'd be surprised at how much money you're missing out on because of the fact that you lack discipline. Does this mean I'm suggesting that you shouldn't have a life? No. I definitely have a life. What I'm saying is your life has to be in order before you start adding extra stuff onto it. You can't build a house without a foundation, bro. And I know, I know that's the hard pill to swallow, but that's just how it is. With all that said, please make sure that you're putting in your best efforts, your best foot forward, and you're actually performing at your job because it's extremely important that you do well because that that continues to give you money to sustain your life, right? So that's survival, but that's also luxury items, but that's also passion projects that you have for yourself. So you, we've got to be thankful for our jobs. I mean, 
you might hate your job. I hated my last job, but you best believe I showed up every single day and put in 110% despite the fact that I completely hated it. No one knew, no one noticed. I put my best foot forward because that sustained my lifestyle. That's what allowed me to survive and put money and invest into my passion projects, which gave me even more money as a result. And even though I hated that job, I didn't quit until I had other things, other systems set in place. But you can find more out about that by watching the video that I made specifically about me leaving my, my high paying job because it was a high paying job, but I hated it. So your boy had to leave, but check that video out after this if you want to. And now I have a question for you. I know I've asked you like 10 questions throughout this entire video. Well, I got another one for you. What is your side hustle, bro? And what are your plans to make sure that you continue to increase your income outside of your main hustle? I'll tell you some of mine, YouTube, courses and programs that I'm building to help you better your finances. And I just started growing my Instagram for more business. Make sure you follow me at Reggie Bryant 777. But anyways, the stuff that I'm working on, they're more passive streams of income that don't give immediate results. You don't have to do stuff like what I'm doing. You could do anything from painting houses to pressure washing houses. You can be cutting people's lines. You can be cutting hair. You can, you can get creative with what you do. You can cook. You can babysit. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. But I mean, I'm not going to go too far into that because this is like really becoming a long video. And I don't want to spend too much time on it. And plus I have a whole video coming out just about side hustles where I really go in depth with the how to's, what to do and how much money you can actually make doing a side hustle. So look out for that. But in the meantime, I really want to know what is it that you want to do on the side that brings forth more income because now nowadays, especially with this pandemic going on, it is more important than ever and I think it should open the eyes to everybody that, hey, I can't just rely on one stream of income. You know how many people lost their jobs or were furloughed or, you know, were laid off during this time? That should paint a very vivid picture to you that, hey, I can't be messing around with all this now. One stream of income ain't going to cut it. It's just not, bro. But anyways, you take all that I said in this video, the discipline and the mindset behind increasing your income, and then you pair it with all the advice that I've ever given you on this channel about saving money, about budgeting money, and about living a frugal lifestyle, and you, you apply all that and watch your money grow. Watch it grow, bro. And you know, most people won't take action, but you will, because you decided to click on this video and watch all the way through and actually learn what it takes to get exactly where you want to be financially. You have something inside of you that urges you to do more, to become more, to make more, to create something of value for more people. And this is how you do it. Anyways, that's the video for today, man. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay cold.